Hi, this is Chef Frank Brightson here in the Blue Runner Creole Kitchen. And today we're talking about cornbread, one of my favorite things. Cornbread is popular throughout the South, and certainly here in Louisiana, it's an important part of uh, a lot of our meals, uh, particularly with red beans, white beans, butter beans, cornbread dressing. So I'm going to show you my basic fundamental cornbread recipe, which can be the basis for your imagination. You can take it anywhere you want to go. Uh, one thing to realize is that it's just as easy to make cornbread from scratch, like we're going to do today, as it is to buy a mix. So this is based on two different mixing bowls. On one, we're going to have our dry ingredients, and then we're going to mix it with our wet ingredients. The dry ingredients are equal parts, all-purpose white flour, and yellow cornmeal. And then to help the cornbread rise, we're going to add both baking soda and baking powder. We're going to add a teaspoon of baking soda, and you want to measure this, uh, that's very important. And then a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. Now, uh, for spice or season, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, of course. And I'm also going to add some granulated white sugar. Now, this is not really what I would call a sweet cornbread. You can take a little bit out, add a little more if you like, but it's very well balanced. That's important. One thing that I like to add to give the cornbread a little bit of zest and a little bit of texture is some thinly sliced green onions. Just the tops. Very tender. Gives it a nice little accent. And that's our dry ingredients. I'm going to stir these up. And then in our other bowl, we're going to work with our wet ingredients. Now, we're going to start with a couple of eggs, two whole eggs, and I want to whisk the eggs very frothy. I want to see a lot of bubbles. I want to incorporate some air into the cornbread mixture. That'll make it light and fluffy. So take your time with that step. Whisk them very frothy, just like you were making an omelet or scrambled eggs. You see all those bubbles? That's going to be a light cornbread, nice and fluffy. I'm going to add a little bit of melted, unsalted butter. That's four tablespoons. The butter is important because that keeps the cornbread nice and moist, not dry and crumbly. And then what I like to use is buttermilk. I'm going to add a cup and a quarter of buttermilk. That's the liquid in the cornbread, and that will give it a little bit of tartness also. That's our wet ingredients. So now, We'll add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients, and we'll have cornbread batter. Now, we'll blend this together, and the liquid will activate the baking soda and baking powder, and the mixture will begin to rise immediately. Now, I can see the mixture starting to fluff up from the baking powder and soda. Nice and smooth. And that's cornbread. Now that's just a couple of minutes of work. Very easy. Now here I have a baking pan, a shallow baking pan, that I've rubbed with a little bit of butter so that the cornbread doesn't stick. You can spray it if you like, but I like butter. There we go. Now we'll smooth that out. See how easy that is? Now we're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees and this will bake for about 40 to 45 minutes. You want to look for a nice browning, nice even browning all over the top. And like with any baking product like this, cornbread, cakes, you can put a toothpick or a butter knife in there in the middle, be sure it comes out clean and that tells you that the batter is fully cooked. Now cornbread is a very, uh, can be a very personal thing too. You can use your own favorite ingredients in the cornbread. You could put sauteed crawfish and make crawfish cornbread, sauteed shrimp, chopped up, make shrimp cornbread, uh, cracklings. You can do a lot of different things with cornbread. So this will go into a 350 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes. Our cornbread is out of the oven. You can see it's nice and evenly browned on top. I'm going to cut a little piece here. We got a sample. Look how beautiful that is. Nice and light. This is the perfect side dish for some red beans and rice. 
or almost anything. Mm. Thank you for joining us in the Blue Runner Creole Kitchen. <laughs>